This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Okay, we're getting close to the uh, closer to the end. I just saw an extraordinary rose. That's for Sayori, and I say a little prayer. I, if I don't, I'm going to explode. I can't see. I'm full of judgment. That's not good. I, oh man, this fills me with just so much anger. Oh no, I got Natsuki. Now I'll have to give a cheer. Hey, do you know what Sayori likes? She definitely likes some hair. <laughs> I thought she liked the hair. Lipstick. No! How is that possible? Smile. Good. Vibrant. Darn it. Shopping. No! Vanilla? Are you kidding me? That's not good. Marriage. As well. Points us together today. Um. Um. Uh. Whew. Dance. That's gotta be her. Um. the Blah. Why are Sayori's always the hardest? Ugh, my gosh. Is the poem meant to just be all these words strung together, or are we <laughs> to meant to mentally fill in the gaps as a poem? Uh, uh, I got news for you, Jay. This was made originally in, in English. This was released in English before Japanese, so... <laughs> no, I think... It's up to interpretation. I like to think he's just writing a grocery list of 20 words, but... It could be. It could be. <laughs> Landscape. Nope. Darn it. Swimsuit. Are you kidding me? This is not good. I gotta get the last four words perfect. Um. Crap. Did I save before doing this? I freaking didn't. Uh-oh. This is not good. Um. Uh, pure. Are you- No. No. I'm getting that Suki not- <laughs> Excitement. Clumsy. I'm pretty sure we just got a Natsuki one. Kiss. Yeah, we definitely just got Natsuki. Oh, great! And I forgot to save. We know what we're gonna do. Oh, great. We're gonna have to go back. <laughs> gonna have to go back again. I shouldn't have been so stupid earlier. Raindrops is her, apparently. Alright. Great. Whistle while you work. That sucks. Okay. Great. Scene, scene, scene. Waterfall. How is that Natsuki? Skipping. That was that Natsuki. Sunny. Marriage. Depression. That's apparently Sayori. Okay. Great. Kiss. Darn it. Dream. That's her. Summer. What? <laughs> Excitement. <laughs> jumpy. How is that her? Sayori is literally jumpy. Okay. Sunset. Destiny. Darn it. <laughs> Nature. Good. Daydream. Good. Unrequited. Good. Bliss. Good. Together again. Again. Okay. Well, unfortunately, we have to play through this again. Fortunately, we have this lovely thing called Skip! Let's try this again. Smile. Um, broken? That's her, apparently. Friends. <laughs> we friend-zoned her. Family! Um, tears. She kind of likes, yeah, the balanced words. I remember, Natsuki just kiss. Um, journey. That's Yuri. Okay. I, th I wonder if there's a possibility that none of Sayori's words appear. Unrequited, I remember that was her. Uh, precious. The precious. Shame. That's her, apparently. Uh, Mowage. Together. Romance! Darn it! I keep thinking that summer is Sayori. I don't know why. Happiness is a warm blanket in a swimsuit. I, I also think swimsuit is that way too. Dog on it. That's okay. Um. Destiny. Flying. Beauty. Bed. <laughs> Sayori would like bed. Okay, here we go. For realsies this time. Ha oh, man! I'm the last one here again! Don't worry, I just walked into. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah! <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. I can't wait for the festival! It's gonna be great! Huh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. 
But a whole day of school where you just get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food? You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on! Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Huh? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Monika. Huh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. <laughs> Again, they wrote this in English first, so that's <laughs> just a ton in cheek joke. Ah, uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me. Where is Sayori, anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Oh, what's wrong? Eh? Huh? You're spacing out again. Ah! Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh. Is everything alright? Of course! Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayori shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. I worriedly glanced at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who's shuffling through some papers at her desk. Artie, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but... Have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading a little it, much too much into it, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who's idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Artie. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always just talked to me about the things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you, if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Uh, are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Artie. Me? Oh no, I have been treating her badly. How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know. Uh? And she's been so much happier ever since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Artie. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ugh. Alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori's sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear it from here. I sigh and sit myself down. Sit down! I know Sayori told me not to worry about her, and to have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Okay, everyone! After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything's back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and so do I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Oh, you know, just about the latest hamburger restaurant that opened up. I'm sure it's nothing too bad. Oh, let's... let's... We haven't shown our po poem to Sayori first before. 
This is your best one so far. It's really nice, Artie. Um, thanks. Hmm. Sayori, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything alright? That works for me. Sayori's voice is the hardest one for me to do. Eh? Uh, uh, of course! Everything is fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> do you want a nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, alright. Hey, Artie. I'm still a little surprised. I really thought that you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Why? Or even that Suki. But in the end... Yeah. I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. You haven't shown it to anyone else, though. Why? You don't want to get closer with everyone else? Nah, screw them. <laughs> Wait! Of course I do. But that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Sayori. I know you have to sometimes put up with me, and I have to sometimes put up with you, but we have a wavelength for something, and this is how the poem came out. I mean, I literally had to reset time in order to make it that way, but sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life, so sometimes it's just easier to write down when thinking about you. Sayori? No. Artie, I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Sayori has trouble keeping her voice steady all of a sudden. Oh no, I hate it when she cries. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Sayori! I glance around the room to make sure nobody noticed this. Oh, great job, Artie! You made him cry! Sayori. I've probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what will cheer you up. Sayori shakes her head. She sniffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and puts on a smile. It's nothing, Artie. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. Ha <laughs> ha! I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. I mean, hey, sometimes you gotta go home early, you know? Alright, Yuri next! Hey, girl! Well done, Artie. You've definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helpful to you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sharing our writing like this, it's a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at first, but now it seems like everyone's enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid this whole thing would be a chore, but it's a great way for me to spend some personal time with all the girls in the club. But it's been fun getting to know everyone in their writing, and I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you learned anything about yourself, Artie? Eh? Huh? Well, you know how I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer. And even my opinions are just opinions, you know? As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Huh? Why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing, and you have the most advice to share. Yeah, it's true. Yuri's probably been the most... Yuri and Monica have been the most constructive feedback feedbackers of all. Say where he's just like, oh my gosh, your poem is so great! And Atsuki's like, well, your poem's alright, but it's not as good as mine! Why do I always do surfer voice for Natsuki when she's when I'm paraphrasing what she's saying? Is that so? No, sorry, Yuri, you can't tempt me with that stare of yours. I'm, I'm on Sayori's route. Say, Yuri thinks for a good minute. That must be terrible. Uh? For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome. How unlikable of me. Natsuki is funky, calm, confirmed. Yo, yo, yo! <laughs> Yuri, it's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. I see, and you don't respect others. Exactly! I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to these sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri, what, 
What am I saying? I I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Alright. Uh, do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Hey, we didn't get a poem from Sayori! She just took off. She, she didn't write one, and that's why she left early. Here. Beach. A marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth chaotically meets the surface. Under a clear blue sky, an expanse of bliss, but beneath gray rolling clouds, an endless enigma... Uh, oh, excuse me, I'm still burping up that cupcake from a couple days ago. The easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. Have I burped in both of Yuri's main poems? <laughs> and only in Yuri's poems? One can only build a sandcastle where sand is wet. But where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your foundations while you give in? Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Not if you build your house on the firm foundation, like the Bible says! Oh! Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sandcastles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. She loves that word, tendrils. Turn back, and I abandon my place, my peace, sorry, to a road at the shore. Drift forward and return to the earth forevermore. I like how you get, like, the variations of the girls' themes in, when you're reading the poems. It's really, it's really cool. What's up, Marty? Nice to see ya. <laughs> That's a great poem. Yuri just burps while reading the poems out loud. <laughs> hey, you know, hey, that can happen. Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about, but I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. You say that like you didn't even want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, Natsuki and I, well, it was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So Natsuki wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles, or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to call my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Who should I show my poem to next? Monica can wait her turn. <laughs> Just like Spike in that Reader Rabbit story. She's like, wow, he's actually doing a good job now. <laughs> eh, this one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad you're trying a little bit. Well, of course I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally- Oh, whoops. Because she crossed her arms, I assumed that she was talking. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems, anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Yeah. No! Gross! It's not like I care. It's just that one of us in the club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Everybody's making sure I don't slack off. Really? Well, what if you ended up just scaring me away? That's... Um... Uh, it's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. God! Oh, why is it? Why is that me? Oh, gah! Natsuki's elbow connects with my stomach. That's why. I thought she was making the guh sound, but it had my name up. Oh my gosh, you got the VA. <laughs> you got the voice acting job for Natsuki in that let's play. <laughs> why are you taking notes on my performance? I don't do a good Natsuki voice. <laughs> I literally was do make giving her a funky cone voice just like just before you showed up. <laughs> oh, maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. You actually elbowed me though. <laughs> How the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around that Suki. Anyway, Natsuki holds her poem out to me like nothing ever happened. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years. But today, I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. 
The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be your beach. I'm sorry. I'll be the beach that watches your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way that you thought you had left long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in your sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and lay it me to see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Set you free in my windy sail. And remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way that you would have thought you left long ago. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. <laughs> Great poem, Natsuki. <laughs> well, that was fun. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome! Kind of hard to write anything negative about the beach. I can write negative things about the beach. The grains of sand get under your toenails, and it's the worst. Well, Yuri's take on it was a little more solemn. Well, that's... Jeez, she better not have said anything bad about me. Oh yeah, she slipped in a Natsuki sucks in there. <laughs> After all, she was the one who wanted us to write about the same topic. She said that you did. Ugh, you can really see her doing that too. Making us write about a simple topic then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Okay, saving truly the best for last. Manica. I mean, Monica. Manica is the gender bend version. Hi, Artie. Have you thought about what you want to support? <laughs> Submit to perform at the festival. Uh, well, why were you making fart noises? That was weird. Unbecoming of a class president. Being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people. I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. Ha ha ha. Anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Ha ha ha! It's kind of funny! How so? Oh, because you screwed up this poem royally so bad that you literally had to go travel back in time two days just to have another shot at it. <laughs> no, not the poem. I mean, it's funny how your poems and Sayori's poems have been getting more and more similar each <laughs> to each other every day. Yeah, we've been copying each other's homework. I'm just surprised you're so in sync with her. Then again, you've been spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? Well, I guess you could say that. Although we kind of grew up as best friends, I haven't been seeing as much of her this last year. But since I joined the club, we've been spending a lot of time together again. I see, I see. That reminds me. About how Sayori's been a little bit off today. Yeah, did she tell you something? Uh, well, Artie, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? Oh, big time. You weren't there when we were making out with her in the crown closet. Of course not! I've been treating her like I always do. Terribly. <laughs> Alright. Just making sure that you only need to flirt with me. I know how much you care about her. It would be terrible if something bad happened to her, so keep an eye on her. Sayori's been acting so much happier ever since you joined the club. What could have happened all of a sudden? Well, never mind. This isn't really the time to be talking about this. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, oh, oh, all right, Monica. The lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. Of the lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather, lost adrift the sky, a victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing message <laughs> legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all the others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow. I fall, and I fall, and I fall, and fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and the forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. 
and with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? You can write happy stories. That's how Yoshi's story came about. Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional. Uh, yeah! That! Oh, good. Marty is cake. The world is saved. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid that it's not that good? Yes. It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to someone you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it'll make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Thanks, Monica. Now I need to get... <laughs> yes, Marty, I've played the game before. I wouldn't be playing this if... <laughs> are you having cake? Well, thank you for the writing tip, Monica. I, I need to take like a 10 second break to refill my giant mug of water. I'll be right back. Don't worry.